I got my hot chocolate. And today's gonna be a good day, even though it's kind of foggy. Come on, you guys. And I'm back here once again. Ah, oh, I gotta love Walmart. But this time, it is to shop. What would you guys think if I got some dino nuggets? Because I'm kind of looking at it again. It's really good. Don't screw it. Don't judge me. All right, I think for the crunch wraps, I need uh, probably like one of these hard, the corn tortillas. Maybe one of these. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know which one to pick, guys. I kind of want a spinach. I want to change it up. So spinach and herb or something. I don't know. Hmm. Or tomato and basil. Like, not, I don't want to just be playing Jane and get just the flower ones, even though the flower ones are the bigger ones. First world problems. Can't even lie about this. This is pretty genius. I've never seen the food club that actually has a spoon. Because sometimes when I was in grade school, I used to forget my spoon. That's pretty genius. I will buy that. Uh, yes, please. In the comments down below, let me know if you guys will ever eat this. Fruit punch Oreos. Yuck. That sounds disgusting. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love these things, but I always hate them frozen. I'd rather have them cold in the fridge, but then cut them off and suck all the juice out. But I didn't like it when frozen. You suck all the, the sweetness out, and then you're left with ice. I hated that. So right in front of Walmart, there's like this little crosswalk thing on the ground, and um, it usually lets pedestrians cross. That's like a little little zone where they cross and stuff like that. And I understand people don't like pedestrians just pulling out, or just walking out in front of the car so you can get hit like that. Well, I was sitting on the side with my car, and this lady was coming up, and I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna let me over. No, once she got close to me, she just stared at me and then turned her head to the left, like to look away from me the whole time she was driving by. Didn't even look at me. I was like, okay, I got you. I wish someone would have ran out in front of her car because she wasn't paying attention to the road. Dude's just making an awkward situation more awkward. You know what? It's too nice of a day to be all frustrated and rant about stuff. Look at that. Blue skies. Like, you can't even complain about that. And it's nice and warm. The only thing that make it better is just having a beach or something. You know what? I got some beer, so I guess that's kind of good enough. Oh gosh, I think I'm turning to an alcoholic. Correction, I think I am an alcoholic. I don't want nothing to happen to you, all right? All right, you're my precious little cargo. Oh, and before I forget, I want to give a big, big shout out to the channel Life is a King because they got me to buy some fried chicken. I haven't bought fried chicken in forever and they convinced me to buy some fried chicken. If you guys know who they are, you know what I mean. If you don't, make sure you check out the channel. I'll put the link in the description down below. Oh, it, looks, it smells so good. Just woke up, so. You know what, I'm gonna let you guys know a little secret. The reason I'm going to VidCon this year is not because I wanna see my friends I haven't seen in a while and all that yada yada yada. I mean, I kinda do, but that's not the real reason. It's not to see all the big name YouTubers. I got t-shirts in that drawer. Got t-shirts, 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 t-shirts. I love t-shirts. And my VidCon t-shirt kinda got messed up. Look at that, bleach stains, everything. So, that's the real reason I'm going to VidCon, guys. I don't want I just want a new t-shirt. I'm joking. My sarcasm is really bad. I love this shirt. Two, I just sucks. I got bleach on it. Aries, can you move, please? <laughs> I'm trying to show them the, the stains. Just have to deal with it every day. This is you done. You done. All right. It just sucks. I, oh my. <laughs> I don't know what to say. When you say you love me, no, I love you more. So it's problems, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a homemade crunch wrap. Not gonna be supreme because I don't have any uh, sour cream, but this is this is probably gonna be just as good. So right here we got some uh, large, extra large actually flour tortillas, ground turkey meat right here, some shredded cheese, lettuce, these uh, corn tortillas, like the crunchy, uh, this like looks like a plate or something, and some uh, cheese. We're about to go in on this. First we're gonna wanna cook the t ground turkey beef. So, uh, yeah, we can also season it if you want to, whatever seasoning you want. I usually use some, um, Italian Creole, maybe some lemon pepper or something like that. Actually, you know what? I'll use some garlic salt because garlic salt's always good. And while that's cooking, you might want to start your prep work of, how, of actually building it. So when the meat comes off, you'll be, it'll be, it'll go right in and it'll keep it warm. So first, you want to start off with giving your tortilla down on the plate, like just like this. And then we're going to take a spoonful or so of the cheese and you're just going to spread it around just like this. You can use like regular cheese or salsa cheese. I believe this one has salsa in it. Now that that's done, you're gonna get one of these tortillas and put it right on top, just like that. Now that I have the meat all done, you're gonna wanna put some of it right on top. Oh, that's hot, that's, that's hot. You wanna put some of it right on their tortilla shell, just like that. Next comes the lettuce. I think that's enough lettuce, right? Perfect. And then you just fold it over, just like that. You just keep folding the sides down. And voila, you just put it on the pan so you can seal up the edges and stuff so it can like firm up. 
and you just let it sit, and then cook it, and then you flip it over, flip it on the other side, and then cook it, and you're done. It is that simple. So you guys should go try to make these at home. It's really inexpensive, and look, I have so much stuff left. And usually one is perfect for me. And there she is. Look at that. I mean, it's not flat, because it actually has stuff in it, but that actually looks pretty good. You guys wanna know a trick about opening a beer bottle or any type of bottle if you don't have a bottle opener, and you're in your someone's kitchen? Usually, if they have a drawer or a cabinetry that has the handles on it, you just gotta find the sweet spot, there we go. See, look at that. Man, that thing was so good. What? Huh? What? Nothing left but a little piece of, of turkey meat. And I'm watching the Game of Thrones. Because you know, season premiere comes on Sunday. I can't wait. Are you hungry? All right, let's, I'll go feed you. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You guys ever seen this movie? It's called Zombieland with Emma Stone. You guys remember this part in Zombieland where they went to the amusement park? I think it was Pacific Playland. Pacific Playland. Yeah. That's actually in Valdosta. That's like literally, what, 10 minutes down the road from Wild us right Adventures. now? Yeah, Wild Adventures. One of my favorite zombie movies. Really? This one and War of Z. Yeah, War of Z is on point. Let's make another one. I actually rode that ride right there. And it made me sick. Really bad. And I could not ride any more rides in the theme park. This is nuts how this is like down the street from us.